Hello everyone. This is Arshad from ENH iSecure and in this presentation we will be discussing about the identity now extensibility feature integration. Coming to the agenda of the presentation. We would first discuss about identity now a brief overview and then few terminologies that we need to be familiar with. An overview of the access request process the current access request process that is happening in identity now at the moment the extensibility features what are they and how for which applications are we going to integrate them so how would these benefit for making access requests and how the access request process would look like post the integration how exactly is this achieved technically and some benefits derived out of this integration. Identity now, a brief introduction. So each progressing year, IT is getting more and more complex. As the organization grows, more and more people tend to come into your organization who will require their own set of access to the resources. SailPoint is a market leader for providing identity and access management solution, be it on-premise or cloud. Identity IQ is an on-premise IAM solution, whereas Identity Now is a cloud-based SaaS product. This presentation will talk about Identity Now. Some of the features that come out of the box with SailPoint Identity Now are provisioning, providing or granting of an access to a user for the target resource, Access requests. Any user can request access for that he or she needs for that target resource. Certifications, which is periodic review where we certify who has what level of access on the target systems and does he or she require that access. Post this review, the necessary provisioning or deprovisioning action can be taken. Password management. Managing and enforcing password policies based on the organizational requirement and reducing the IT burden on help desk. Separation of duties, sometimes also referred to as segregation of duties, is a common business control with two primary objectives. One is preventing frauds and detection of failure of controls that might include or lead to security breaches. Effective, secret, uh, effective SOD relies on ensuring that no single individual is responsible for an entire transaction. Instead, responsibilities for any access or a specific business need are divided across multiple users. In this integration presentation, we will talk about Microsoft Teams and Slack integration for access requests. Coming to the terminology, I would like to specify that when we create an application on identity now, they are basically the connecting points for us to, inter to interact with the actual target applications. So if we create an AD application, let's say, it does not mean that identity now has our AD installed on it. It simply means that we are creating a placeholder application in identity now, which interacts with the actual active directory, be it on our network or another. The first terminology is entitlement. Entitlement is a value that is used to provision access for a user to a source. In simple terms, I will take an example of Active Directory. So for every user in Active Directory, there, is an, there are many attributes, right? So for among those, one attribute is member of. This member of attribute is used to assign access for a user to multiple groups. So whatever value this member of will have, the necessary groups are assigned for a user. So in simpler terms, entitlement means that the access that a user is entitled to have, and we will be using this entitlement to provision access to target sources. Access profiles. So now that we know what entitlements are, access profiles is nothing but a group of entitlements combined into a single entity. Please note that one access profile 
will provision entitlements for one single source. Roles. Roles are nothing but a higher level extension of the access profiles. In access profiles, the provisioning of entitlements happens for one single source. Roles combines multiple access profiles which are provisioning to multiple sources into a single entity. Access request an overview. Access request is an important feature which allows end users in business to request access for themselves or others. The primary benefits derived are the IT help desk would no longer be the center for all the access. Instead, approvals lie in the hands of the people who own the access. The accountability can be enforced or delegated to the department leads or higher ups, which will limit the risk of insider access. With these processes in place, the project resources can focus on strategic met project methodologies instead of focusing on the approval fulfillment without compromising the security. Coming to the phases that are uh, taken, taken place in access requests are access request submission. End users go to Identity Now Request Center and select the access that they would like to request. This request can be for the user himself or for another user. Also, comments can be entered to justify the access that is, that is being made. Access Request Approval Each requested access is routed to the necessary approvers to validate the genuineness of the request. If seems valid, the approver can choose to either approve or deny the request. Access request fulfillment. Post the approvals, the access items are sent to the target systems for provisioning. At this point, the access request cannot be cancelled. Current access request process. As of now, there are two ways that the access requests come into picture in identity now. One is through roles and one other one is through application configuration. With roles, we have to configure the role and make it requestable in Identity Now. If required, we can configure the membership criteria through which uh, any birthright provisioning can be taken care of. Through applications, we can configure an application which contains its own XML structure and it has its own password policies in place. Coming to the current access request process, Let's say we have a user who requires access to, let's say, Office 365. We can have a role configured in Identity Now where the required access profile will contain the Office 365 entitlements. So the user now will log into Identity Now, navigates to the request center to find the roles and applications that he can request. Once the user requests for a role or an application, the designated approvals will kick in where the request has to be approved or denied by the approver. Once approved, the user will get access to Office 365 and provisioned. So coming to the extensibility features integration, we are talking here about two main applications specifically. One is Microsoft Teams and another one is Slack. As you know, MS Teams is a chat-based collaboration platform from Microsoft with capabilities such as document sharing, online meetings, channels, online video calling and screen sharing, etc. It is extremely user-friendly and can facilitate a work environment between remote users and large business. Coming to Slack, it is another alternative application similar to Teams where it combines the functionalities for messaging tools and files, etc. Users can communicate over channels or direct messages based on the requirement, and it has a rich support for the third party application integrations. Unlike Teams, there is a free version of Slack which comes with its own limitations. The ease of access derived after integrating our extensibility feature. Of access request is that we can see a sale point chatbot in the applications tab. Similarly, in Slack, the sale point chatbot is appeared in the apps tab. 
So the flow, how the access request would happen is that a user would log into his Microsoft Teams. From then on, he will log in to his identity name, identity now, org name, or the tenant. Post logging in, he can make an access request for either a role or an application by selecting the role name or application name and the identity that he wants to access for. A similar process is for, followed for Slack as well. User logs into his work email through Slack and connects the identity now tenant with the third party application. Post that, he can make the access request for either a role or an application depending upon his needs. So there is a question that we have to answer, which is how is this achieved technically? The answer is REST APIs. REST APIs stands for Representational State Transfer. It is a kind of web service architectural style that is adopted. By using REST APIs, we can interact with the server in a key value communication using JSON payload. In identity now, there are many more APIs that come into picture, but for the extensions that we are installing on Teams and Slack, these are the specific APIs that are used. The first one is the list of access request objects. The following API will retrieve the list of all the roles that are configured in identity now and show up in the chatbot. Next one would be the create an access request. Whenever you select a role or an application and select an identity for which you want the access request and click the submit, this is the API call that comes into picture which will create an access request on identity now and uh, forward it to the designated approvers. The next up is the get the access request status. What this API does is that it continuously fetches the status of the access request made. Once successfully approved by the approvers, the provisioning activity will get triggered. Coming to the integration benefits. What benefits are derived out of this integration? The first is the ease of access. All the hassle of logging into identity now, finding the role and requesting the role is reduced, where the feature is right, now right at your fingertips within the Teams or Slack. Chatbot notifications. As shown, the SailPoint chatbot would be located in the app section of both the applications, where you can go anytime for any access requests. Approve or deny the requests on the go. So once the access request is made, and if you are selected, uh, you are, if you are configured as an approver, you will get a Teams a bubble notification as a chat chat window where you can approve or deny the requests. Thank you. Please visit our social media platforms for more technical updates on SailPoint as well as other OEMs.